Max. I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this, but I really don't care. The channel will get shut down anyway. What else? Uh, Supreme Court to decide marriage rights for gay couples nationwide. Now, Supreme Court's a government institution. Marriage is a religious institution. Uh, separation of church and state? Uh, not so much. We live in a fascist, pagan, whatever world now here in the United States, run by corporations. And uh, they're using the gay people to take take everybody's rights away. Uh, it's just, just what it is. And everybody walked right into it. And I'm going to label this one uh, America's Coming Judgment, the sodomite agenda, because... It, and, you know, it's kind of a misnomer because it ain't the sodomites that are behind this. It's the, uh, the you can call them the New World Order, the Jesuits, uh, the Illuminati, or whatever. They're going to use whatever they can to take people's rights away. But y'all walk right into it. Y'all step right into it. Oh, I love my, I love my 501c3. I love my this and that and the other thing. Guess what, guys? Uh, now that it's accepted for the nation to accept uh, sodomites and getting married like it's everyone should accept it. And if you don't agree with that, it's hate speech, by the way. Um, we're going to go down like Sodom and Gomorrah. So you just wait for the coming judgment. All of our churches are going to be shut down and it's, it's rock and roll time. Literally rock and roll time. What happened out there in Sodom and Gomorrah? Hmm. What was going on down there? Anyone know? Is anyone unfamiliar with Sodom and Gomorrah? What do we got? Genesis 19? Huh? You can read through Genesis 19. And see, see what was going on there. And uh, why the Lord burned the place to the ground. Huh. And you know, uh, this happened like 3000 BC. Because we're talking about Abraham and Lot. And you can look up when Abraham was around. Could even be longer than 3000 BC. Could be 3500. I know Abraham was one of the first guys around. They didn't have the Old Testament yet. They didn't have it. They didn't have the New Testament. Right now we got both of them. Both of them. And look what we're doing. Oh yeah, gay marriage is okay. And you know, we should probably have, you know, children could get married too to old men. That's fine. That's fine too. Why not just have multiple wives and multiple gay partners? Eh, who cares? What difference does it make? Morals? What are those? There isn't any standard for morals anymore. It's ridiculous. See, so all can take a look and you can read this for yourselves. I'm not going to go through it. Everyone knows uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. The angels who go down there and the town wanted to rape them because the angels were pretty. Oh, yeah. Uh, and God judged them and burned them all down. And they know where Sodom and Gomorrah is right now, and the whole place is a dust bowl. And there's still sulfur there today. And you don't think the judgment's going to be coming to America? Hmm. Now, this was a story from probably about a year ago. Uh, one of these chapels, Hitching Post, they passed a law in Idaho, I guess, that gay people could get married and these people refused they're a for-profit corporation this is a year ago uh legal Ag advocacy group alliance defending freedom announced press release they were filing a federal lawsuit for a motion temporary restraining order on behalf of pastors blah 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 blah, blah. yeah they they want to, to stop them from you know they didn't want to marry same-sex people and people sued this is a year ago well, now it's legal. Now what are these guys going to do? Here's the next story. Uh, let's see. This is the same people, actually. Um, Idaho Christian couple may no longer face fines, jail time, or hosting for non-hosting same-sex weddings. Uh, bullcrap. May no longer? No. They're even in more hot water now than they were a year ago. Uh, totally. Totally. These, are, these guys admit are self-admitted for-profit business. This is the same thing as saying uh, Best Buy is saying no gays allowed. Or Target saying no gays allowed. Or McDonald's saying no gays allowed. You can't do that. And there's your problem with your 501c3 in all of these churches. And 
as much as I support Ken Hovind and everything that he does, he was a staunch anti-501c3 guy for this very reason. The government owns you. You're a government corporation. And his son turned around and turned uh, Dinosaur Adventure Land, or no, it's Creation Science Evangelism, I think. He turned it into a 501c3. So guess what? Kent Hovind's going to have to marry gay people if he's going to be part of that ministry. You can't get around it. Otherwise, you're a hate speech guy. And they're going to come after you because you're Christian. And now I'm also just going to point out here, uh, what are the Islams doing? You notice I'm in wikiislam.net? This is made by Muslims, okay? Let's look at the Muslim views. Homosexuality is one of the most disgusting sins and greatest crimes. Are you going to go get married in a mosque? You gay people out there? Vile perversion that goes against sound nature and is one of the most corrupting and hideous sins. The punishment for homosexuality is death. Both active and passive participants are to be killed whether or not they have previously had sexual intercourse in the context of a legal marriage. Some of the companions of the prophet stated that the perpetrator is to be burned with fire. It has also been said that he should be stoned or thrown from a high place. Now you're going to see a lot of articles in the news about all these pastors with the arms up in the air and uh, getting thrown in jail and their ministries getting shut down because guess what? You're 501c3. You're a government entity and you're going to have to do what the government tells you. Civil liberties apply. Now, when you're a private church who's not 501c3, you can do whatever you want to. It's just like having someone on your own private property. And that's what the mosques are. That's what the Muslims are doing. Look what they think about it, though. You're not going to see this on the news, are you? Wikiislam.net, people. Wikiislam.net. Are you going to hear anything about how the Muslims, what they think about this new law? Hmm. No, you're not. It's a war, people. We ain't a Christian nation no more. We're not. And we're going to be going through some really tough times. Really tough times. Because our nation just said, we love the most unnatural things we can possibly do. As if, you know, HBO wasn't bad enough. And the internet with all the porn and stuff wasn't bad enough. We got to carry it one step further and say, yeah, we're going to legalize it. They may as well legalize pedophilia too. I mean, at this point, does it matter? I mean, God already burned down Sodom and Gomorrah just for the Sodomite stuff. And let me explain this. It's not that Christians, you know, hate, hate Sodomites. People refer to them as homosexuals or whatever. No, it's, it's just another sin. Everyone's got wickedness. Everyone lies. Everyone, you know, is covetous. Commit adultery. Uh, there's murderers out there. There's a lot of wicked sins. The difference is, is that the public does not ever condone adultery. The public does not ever really condone murder. Unless you're at a time of war. It doesn't condone all of these other things. But you're going to take something that's a, an abomination to God that he burned several cities down to the ground that they're still desolate for. And you're going to say, eh, well, that's okay. And you're going to make it a national, a national idea to support. That's a problem. You know, sin, sin's wicked. We all know that. But when you have government financing and government support throwing good people in jail because they speak out against it, Ooh, man, we got some judgment coming. We got it coming. We got it coming. And you won't see nothing on the news about the Muslims and their ideas about sodomite stuff. Ain't gonna happen. So that's just my message before I check out. <laughs> that's about all I got. That I'm out of here.